itself. Hey, this is uh, Sir Lancelot with chatabot.dev, and today we're going to be talking about SEO system. Um, I use several different softwares to help me out with this system. The first one I use is Moz. Moz is a, uh, it's a search engine optimization tool. Um, I use it for marketing strategy. Uh, it helps you optimize your uh, keywords, your website, and um, it's, it just helps you run a successful um, SEO campaign. Um, the parts that Moz really helps you with is exposure and discovery, kind of the inbound, kind of organic searches that people do on uh, Google. So they type in, um, you know, they're searching for your product or service, they type it in, and then they discover you. So that's part of what the Moz analytics do. Um, another tool that I use is Keywords Everywhere. Uh, Keywords Everywhere is a free tool, and I'll kind of demonstrate that here in a little bit, how that works. But it's a, basically a Chrome extension. You can install it in Chrome, and you can also install it in Foxfire. So, very handy tool. I would suggest checking that out. Um, you just type in, you know, that like keyword tool, and you'll see right here that uh, the related keywords are... You know, this is what other people are searching for and kind of gives you a volume, a CPC, um, and the click-through rate and all that. So it's very handy. Um, one of the last things I use is Google Search Console. Now Google Search Console, um, just, you plug in your website domain and it just shows you the keywords that, uh, you know, what they're searching for, what they're clicking for, what, they're, what the impressions are, um, what the average impressions are. So if you're trying to drive traffic, it'll show you the impressions and what position you are, what's your authority position, um, what your domain authority is on Google. So I just kind of want to show you, um, like here is a website called Visit St. Augustine. And uh, I wanted to show you a little bit on how Moz works. So you can check your online presence uh, with the Moz thing. So you just go in here, you put in your website, your name, your post, and it'll do an online search. And it'll kind of show you what you got good and what you don't got good. So if you see right here, their website, 67% uh, is missing. So it looks like they have their profile filled out correctly on Google Search and Google Maps and Facebook. But there's a lot of other uh, sites that they could have yeah, their information on. And if you're live. Yeah, I'm live. Thanks for... And what you can do is... Um, um, go through all these sites and put your information in there as well and that'll really help you uh, boost your SEO campaign. And I'm going to kind of show you this is a uh, keywords everywhere which is a fantastic Chrome plugin. Um, that's what I was talking about earlier. Now we're going to go to this uh, this the SEMrush is uh, another excellent tool where you can do your domain analytics, uh, your keyword analytics. Um, this is a fantastic tool for um, researching your keywords, researching what topics are being searched for, what are the popular topics, so uh, you can research your competitors. Um, another one I use is Uber Suggest. Uber Suggest is fantastic. We kind of go back to visit St. Augustine. You can search different websites, <clears throat> and it'll give you an overview of uh, how your site's working, what's working. See? Visit Stanford, they, they have uh, 120,000 organic words. It's pretty good. Uh, organic monthly traffic, that's that's amazing. So they're, they're really doing some good things here. So you can kind of see their, their rankings here. Um, you can kind of see uh, how many times they've visited there. Top rated restaurants is a popular article. <clears throat> These are some of the words that they uh, rank for. Beaches in St. Augustine. So <clears throat> if you're going to do a, a content creation campaign, uh, you'd want to write uh, articles on beaches in St. Augustine. You know, like what, what are the nice beaches? What, where should I go? You know, or where should I go eat? Like, that, that seems like the beaches. Oh, here's a one for churches. So you could write some content on some nice churches around here. So um, surfing near me, like if you, I want to kind of show you how the keyword uh, works here. So if I type in uh, surfing near me, you can see that uh, the keywords 
around here would be surf station, St. Augustine, surf spots, surfing at St. Augustine, Volano Beach. So each one of these are keywords or what people are searching for. You can also do this for, you know, if you look down here at the bottom, surf station, St. Augustine. So these are, these are keywords that people are searching for. So you just need to create your content around these searches and uh, you'll show up in the search results. So this is kind of an overview of uh, you know the SEO system and how uh, we can get your site up and running and you know become uh, I wouldn't say number one on Google but raise you up in the the organic searches. So you kind of have to pick your battles on which keywords um, you know you there are some there are some keywords that you just can't rank for because <laughs> the other other uh, companies have it. So you know but this will definitely help you get up